Picture yourself at 65, feeling perfectly healthy, when suddenly crushing chest pain strikes. This is reality for thousands daily, but here's what most miss. Your body has been warning you for years. Today, I'm revealing a simple at-home test using only a blood pressure monitor that detects arterial plaque and predicts heart attack risk before it's too late. This test is validated by decades of medical research and used by doctors worldwide. Heart attacks follow clear patterns. According to cardiovascular research, men experience peak rates at age 65, while women peak at 72. These events don't happen from cholesterol alone. They're caused by arterial plaque. Cardiovascular disease remains the leading cause of death globally, claiming nearly 18 million lives annually, according to the World Health Organization. In the United States alone, someone has a heart attack every 40 seconds. But here's the shocking truth. Many of these deaths are preventable with early detection. Everything you think you know about plaque is probably wrong. Most imagine it as hard, waxy buildup coating artery walls like grease in a pipe. That image is dangerously misleading. Understanding what plaque actually is matters because it determines how dangerous it becomes and when it might rupture, causing sudden heart attack or stroke. The test I'm teaching you today can reveal this hidden danger using equipment you probably already own. This information could literally save your life or the life of someone you love. Arterial plaque isn't solid or waxy. It's an inflammatory goop, more like mucus than hardened fat. While cholesterol is present, inflammation drives plaque formation. This distinction matters because it determines how dangerous plaque becomes and when it might rupture. Understanding this changes everything about how we prevent heart attacks. When plaque develops, your artery's smooth inner lining gets damaged through various mechanisms, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, or simply aging. Your immune system responds by sending inflammatory cells for repair. Over time, cholesterol particles become trapped alongside these cells, calcium deposits, and cellular debris, creating an unstable lesion beneath the surface. Think of it like a pimple beneath your arterial wall. Just like a facial pimple, if this inflamed collection ruptures, it releases inflammatory material into your bloodstream. Your blood immediately forms a clot to seal the breach. If that clot is large enough and travels to your heart, you experience a heart attack. If it reaches your brain, you suffer a stroke. This rupture happens suddenly, often without warning. According to research from the National Center for Biotechnology Information, peripheral artery disease in legs follows the same atherosclerotic process as coronary disease in the heart. If plaque builds in one area, it's likely developing elsewhere throughout your vascular system. This is why detecting plaque in leg arteries reveals overall cardiovascular risk. Your leg arteries serve as a window into your entire arterial system, showing what's happening in vessels feeding your heart and brain. But wait, before I show you this life-saving test, I need you to do something right now. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Why? Because what I'm about to reveal could save your life, but only if you actually see it. Where are you watching from? Drop your country in the comments. Last month, we had viewers from over 50 countries, all learning to protect themselves from silent killers like this. Now here's the test that could change everything for you. The test I'm teaching is called the Ankle Brachial Index, or ABI. This isn't experimental. It's a well-established diagnostic tool used in medical practice for decades. The ABI non-invasively compares blood pressure in your ankles with pressure in your arms using a standard blood pressure cuff. The beauty of this test lies in its simplicity and accuracy. Studies have shown the ABI has a sensitivity of over 75% and specificity exceeding 90% for detecting peripheral artery disease. Here's the principle. Normally, ankle blood pressure equals or slightly exceeds arm pressure. Your heart pumps blood to your feet against gravity, and healthy arteries maintain that pressure remarkably well. 
but when arterial plaque accumulates in leg arteries, it creates resistance to blood flow. By the time blood reaches your ankles, pressure has dropped significantly compared to arms. This ratio reveals blockages you might not otherwise detect. Why test the legs specifically? Your leg arteries are narrower than major vessels like your aorta, making them more susceptible to showing pressure changes from plaque buildup. Additionally, leg arteries depend heavily on your leg muscles staying active and flexible, which is why prolonged sitting is so detrimental to vascular health. According to BMC Cardiovascular Disorders, ABI has high specificity for detecting peripheral artery disease due to ease of use, reproducibility, low cost, and cost effectiveness. This test doesn't just detect leg disease, it reveals atherosclerosis throughout your entire body. Research in circulation demonstrates that abnormal ABI is associated with significantly increased cardiovascular mortality, often more predictive than coronary disease history. Multiple large studies with thousands of participants confirmed people with abnormal ABI face dramatically higher risks of heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death. In fact, a low ABI indicates you have approximately the same cardiovascular risk as someone with documented coronary artery disease. Before showing procedure, let's discuss who should do this test and who should avoid it. There are two critical contraindications. First, if you have known or suspected deep vein thrombosis, a blood clot in leg veins, skip this test. According to American Heart Association guidelines published in Stat Pearls, cuff compression could break the clot loose, causing it to travel to your lungs, which is life-threatening. Second, if you have severe leg pain, this test applies significant pressure that could cause discomfort or worsen underlying conditions. Who should consider testing? The American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association recommend ABI testing for specific populations. Healthcare providers recommend ABI for people over 50 with diabetes, plus one additional risk factor like smoking or high blood pressure. Anyone over 70, anyone with symptoms like leg pain with activity, and anyone with multiple cardiovascular risk factors. If you have a history of smoking, you should be tested even if you've quit. The damage from smoking can persist for years. People with chronic kidney disease should also be tested as they have significantly higher rates of peripheral artery disease. But here's critical insight. Even without symptoms, you could have significant disease. Studies show up to 40% of people with peripheral artery disease have no leg pain or obvious symptoms. Some people experience what's called atypical claudication, leg discomfort that doesn't fit the classic pattern but still indicates reduced blood flow. Consider your risk factors carefully. Do you smoke? Have diabetes? High blood pressure? High cholesterol? Are you over 65? Have family history of heart disease? According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, each factor increases arterial plaque likelihood. If you have three or more risk factors, your chance of having peripheral artery disease increases dramatically. Early detection through ABI gives opportunity to intervene before catastrophic events occur. The ABI test requires minimal equipment. You need a blood pressure monitor, any standard home cuff works, typically $20 to $50. You need pen and paper to record measurements and a comfortable place to lie down. Before testing, rest lying flat on your back for 10 to 30 minutes. According to Stat Pearl's medical database, adequate rest ensures blood pressure stabilizes for accurate measurements. This is essential, not optional. On test day, avoid caffeine as it elevates blood pressure. Avoid tobacco or alcohol for at least an hour before testing. Research shows smoking affects ankle pressure more than arm pressure, creating inaccurate results. Don't exercise within an hour. Wear loose clothing. Empty your bladder before starting. For the procedure, label your paper. Right arm, left arm, right ankle, left ankle. You'll record one blood pressure for each, focusing on the top number, systolic pressure. After resting, start with your right arm. 
position the cuff above your elbow over your brachial artery. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, the brachial artery is palpable on the inner elbow crease. Make it snug but comfortable. Press start and record only the systolic reading. Remove the cuff and position it on your right ankle, just above the ankle bone. Record the systolic number. Repeat for left ankle, then finish with left arm. The calculation is straightforward. Divide the highest ankle systolic pressure by the highest arm systolic pressure. Say your measurements are right arm 107, left arm 114, right ankle 120, left ankle 126. Use left ankle 126, highest ankle, divided by left arm 114, highest arm, equals 1.11, your ABI. Record to two decimal places. For interpretation, according to Cleveland Clinic and Stanford Medicine, normal ABI falls between 0.9 and 1.4. An ABI of 1.0 to 1.3 is ideal and indicates healthy, flexible arteries. An ABI between 0.9 and 1.0 is borderline, not quite abnormal but warrants close monitoring. An ABI of 0.9 or less indicates peripheral artery disease. Here's the breakdown. 0.7 to 0.9 suggests mild PAD. 0.4 to 0.7 indicates moderate PAD with possible claudication symptoms. And below 0.4 represents severe PAD. Values below 0.5 suggest severe disease where you may lack sufficient blood flow to heal wounds and amputation risk increases significantly. But high values concern us too. ABI above 1.4 indicates arterial calcification and stiffness, particularly common in people with diabetes or chronic kidney disease. Research in circulation shows both low and high ABI values significantly predict all-cause and cardiovascular mortality. When ABI exceeds 1.4, doctors typically order a toe brachial index test instead. What do numbers mean for your future? Studies found people with abnormal ABI had twice the risk of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. Research following over 4,000 participants found deaths were significantly more common in people with abnormal ABI values. Even borderline ABI between 0.9 and 1.0 doubles your 10-year cardiovascular event risk. What do you do with results? If your ABI is normal between 0.9 and 1.4, congratulations! This suggests no significant leg artery blockages currently, but maintain healthy lifestyle and consider repeating annually, especially with risk factors. If your ABI is borderline or high above 1.3, schedule a doctor's appointment. Borderline values may indicate early disease. This is your opportunity for aggressive lifestyle changes and potentially medical therapy before disease progresses. If your ABI is below 0.9, this cannot be ignored. This indicates peripheral artery disease and significantly increased heart attack and stroke risk. See a healthcare provider within weeks. PAD management includes lifestyle modifications, medications, and sometimes procedures to improve leg blood flow. Regardless of your ABI, start these actions today. If you smoke, you must stop. According to CDC, smoking is among the most powerful PAD risk factors. Nicotine reduces leg blood flow. Quitting is the single most important step. Start regular exercise. Even 30 minutes of walking most days dramatically improves vascular health. Supervised exercise programs improve symptoms in people with PAD. Work with your doctor to optimize blood pressure, blood sugar if diabetic, and cholesterol. Medications may include aspirin or antiplatelet drugs, statins, and blood pressure medications. These are evidence-based interventions proven to reduce heart attack, stroke, and death risk. We've covered essential information today. The ankle brachial index is a simple, non-invasive, inexpensive way to detect arterial plaque and assess cardiovascular risk using only a standard blood pressure monitor. This test has been validated in countless studies involving hundreds of thousands of patients worldwide. It predicts not just leg disease, but overall heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death risk. 
by measuring blood pressure in arms and ankles after adequate rest and calculating the ratio, you determine whether significant arterial blockages require medical attention. Remember, normal is 0.9 to 1.4. Below 0.9 indicates peripheral artery disease and increased cardiovascular risk. Above 1.4 indicates arterial stiffness with increased mortality risk. If results are abnormal, schedule a doctor's appointment. Even with normal results, maintain healthy lifestyle with regular exercise, nutritious diet, no smoking, and cardiovascular risk factor management. If this video was helpful, kindly type yes in the comments. That motivates us to continue producing evidence-based content empowering you to control your health. Please like this video and share it with someone who might benefit. Your share could save someone's life. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Thank you for investing time in your health education. The best cardiovascular disease treatment is prevention, and prevention starts with knowledge. Use this knowledge wisely. Take action. Stay healthy and informed. Until next time, take care of your heart.